We have over 100 years of working to take technology out of the university and into the marketplace. Uh, and we've done that reasonably well in recent years, but I think uh, President Hart has challenged us to take our technology innovation development process to a new place, to a new level. And the manifestation of that is Tech Launch Arizona. We see the research park being an integral part of that. We are sort of at the midpoint of the technology innovation process. And once it's come out of the mind of the faculty member or the students into the laboratory and then has the opportunity to become a real product, we can step in, we can apply expertise, our resources, our facility, our assistance to really then invest that technology in an, either an existing company or a new startup company. And then hopefully take that company to success to where it's it's generating product, revenues, wages, taxes, and economic benefit for the whole state. One of the most uh, successful companies here is a company called MP Photonics. It was the, founded by one of the leading optical scientists at the University of Arizona, uh, Dr. Nasser Pegambarian. Uh, it's been here nearly the, the entire life of the park. And it, it went through a whole series of stages of development until it was able to get product to market. And now it is a major player in producing high speed, high quality lasers that are used by a variety of different industry sectors in, in, in their efforts and in their uh, activities. It originally started in, in the field of optical fiber. Uh, Dr. Pegambarian had developed a unique way to produce optical fibers that had unique qualities to them. But once they got into the marketplace, they found that the application of that technology into lasers was really the most uh, opportune area for, for development. And so they moved from fiber development into lasers. And that's pretty uh, typical of a lot of these companies. They start with a core technology, and then as they start to move towards the marketplace, they find multiple applications for it. We are one of the top research universities in the country. I think our research expenditures on an annual basis is over $600 million. And yet, I think there are a lot of people who felt that we perhaps underperform in taking technology to the marketplace. And I think one of the things that Dr. Hart is saying is that we can put together a better system, a system that grabs more of that technology and moves it out into the market.